Welcome everybody. Today's layout is for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft as I'm on her design team for 2020 and this will be my first layout with the February core products. So the core products are papers from Graphic 45 and the collection is called Love Notes Collection and I started off by picking my photo and I thought that the best photo I had to go with these wonderful papers were this photo of my in-laws and I thought that the colours matched perfectly in with this collection. I chose to document the love between a couple that have endured the test of time and isn't that what love is all about? We want to find that couple that we or that person that we're going to grow old with and spend the rest of our lives with and I think that this couple embodies all that. So first I picked my background paper and it's this gorgeous black paper and it's got all these lovely musical sayings all over it and I think most of it's aimed at the piano and since no one in my family play, well, plays the piano or is that way inclined, I went with it as a border so that's why you see me gutting the inside of it but I also wanted to keep the inside of it for a future project or for something else I might want to do in future because I absolutely love the paper. Now the paper is called Love Notes and it's going to form the frame for this lovely striped paper. Now this striped paper is called Romantic Rhapsody. Sorry, I have a major issue pronouncing that word, so sorry if I butchered it. And all I did was cut an inch on both sides just to shorten my paper and then it's going to frame the perfect layout. So what I did then I decided oh it's a bit too clean so I'm just using a distressing tool to distress all four sides. If you don't have a distressing tool or if you're like me and I sometimes can't find it you can just use a pair of scissors and that does a really good job of roughing up all your edges. So after my edges were all roughed up I decided I wanted to ink them and I'm just going to use my distress oxides in vintage photo. Vintage photo is just one of my favourite colours and it's one that I like to use for inking around my edges and also when I want to give it a bit of that old world feel. Off camera I did adhere the two pieces of paper together and now to try and bring this layout together. I like as I said earlier I love this paper and I decided that I loved that little saying that I pointed out to and it says I know not why I love thee and I know that being married for a very long time Sometimes with your partner, you just think, why do I love you? Why am I with you? You know, you have those moments in a lifelong marriage where you have those doubts. So I just thought that that was a pretty good uh, sentiment to have on the layout, considering that I'm sure they've gone through their ups and downs. So back, back to trying to decide which papers I'm going to use. And mind you, at this stage, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I decided that I liked this red paper with the heart. And let me see if I remember what that's called. Okay, I've looked it up and the paper is called Musical Masterpiece. What I'm going to do with this paper is I just want a strip of it. And I'm auditioning or trying to work out how I'm going to build this layout. And then I bring in the stickers and chipboards that are from the same collection. But really nothing's jumping out at me. And then I thought, oh, I like this sticker, but I don't really know how I'm going to use it. So what I did was I just stuck it down on some cardstock, a little bit of fussy cutting, and there you are, a, mus a musical, a movable ephemera. This time round to frame my photo, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I stuck my photo down to some cardstock and then I trimmed it so that I only had a border at the top and down the bottom, which is Thing a bit different to me but I really like how this turned out and I took the the sticker sheet that came with the collection and the first sticker has got this gorgeous floral print and I ran it along the top and then you will see me flip the photo over because the the sticker has a bit of a scalloped edge and then I had I put the another another one of those scalloped edges down the bottom of the photo and then there's this other gorgeous sticker and that's got all these these sayings that say, say ever vine ever mine ever ours and those 
three little sentiments keep repeating so I put that on the top and on the bottom and I just trim the excess white cardstock and it just looks really really stunning because what I found that originally when I had the photo there it wasn't standing out from all the colorful busy papers on this layout but that just made everything pop out and draw your eye towards the photo so here I am that piece that I originally cut out I thought was just a little bit too long so I just gave it a bit of a trim and once again with my distressing tool I'm going to distress all four edges of both papers the red one that I'm doing now and also the black one so there they are all done bit of inking with that same vintage photo just so that everything ties in nicely and trying to put this layout together so there's that fussy cut piece that I had I wasn't really sure where I was going to put it but then I decided that it was going to go right there I just sort of liked how it flowed so that's all stuck down and this is one of the chipboard pieces and that's on the oh what is that on the um left hand side there and that just says how do I love thee and this is where I decided I wanted a little bit of mixed media so I thought about that stencil I just have it there because I'm really not 100% sure so just auditioning it seeing how I like it and then I used some of my old brads from my collection to secure that little tag that says how do I love thee from that famous old poem how do I love thee let me count the ways so this is my Oh, sequence that I got in my kit and I'm just going to cover up some of the love hearts I don't want to use and this took a bit of time but I love it I just did one um, love heart at a time because I didn't want all the love hearts on my on my layout so I did one and then I very carefully added some of my sequence the Nouveau sequence so these gorgeous little round um, red red circles gosh I'm really having a problem talking today and yeah because the Nouveau paste was still quite wet they just stuck on beautifully so I didn't do a lot of love hearts on that right hand side of the page I just wanted a few so I just went through and did it very painstakingly slowly a couple at a time just to add a bit of interest to that side of the page and I'm really happy with how it turned out especially with those sequins but then you will see that I changed things up a bit further down because this layout was forever changing on me I couldn't resist the urge to fussy cut one of those gorgeous roses from the many papers that feature their beautiful these beautiful roses and this love heart here that I'm securing now that's from the chipboard collection and it says my life so I thought yes I'll put that down there and I'm just securing it with a love heart brad that I found in my stash and talking about stash I realized I've got so many brads like there's that container and there's a second container similar to that does anybody else have all these brads um they were just so popular a number of years ago you found brads everywhere but now when I haven't really seen brads um as much as I as I used to I guess that craze has uh mellowed out a bit so I also decided to add three of those love hearts to the love hearts that I had stenciled earlier and I just love the dimension that that all added so all I'm doing here is adding a few more of those gorgeous sequins from Nouveau and just the scattering them around the page and really happy with how it all turned out the bottom right hand corner is just looking a little bit too blank for my liking so what I did was I got another one of these stickers and they were so thin I didn't want to just stick it down so I'm just going to do the same old trick as before I stuck it on some cardstock fussy cut it and down it went and because it's a bit of a journaling tag I just wrote a little bit of journaling and that's about that's my layout well, that's about it that is it so I hope you like it um, love it if you subscribe to my channel and yes till next time remember that I will leave a link for Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft her price is absolutely amazing and the products that you saw on this video you can get at a very good price for the month of February so thank you everybody and take care till next time bye everyone